What's up guys, my name is Spencer, this is my boy Pete, and we're here at Live Beard at HQ, and today we're gonna do a massive beard trim on this guy. All right, so Pete is dumb enough to trust me to trim his beard today. Uh, he doesn't trim his beard very often. He's got a glorious, massive, thick, curly-ass beard, and uh, we're gonna shape it up a little bit today. Uh, it's one thing to note, I, I know I mentioned this in some of my other videos, it's important that before you do any sort of beard trimming, you style your beard for the day, go through your normal daily beard routine, uh, so that your beard hairs are gonna lay the way that they will on a, on a daily basis. So Pete, what do you, what's your beard routine? Talk to us on, on how you get your beard to look like this. Uh, normally I just, just use the beard wash in the shower. <clears throat> then I get out of the shower and uh, oil it up uh, just to get the skin underneath it. And then after cool. that, I hit it with some butter and let it dry. All right, so the biggest thing in, go through your routine, let it fully dry so that it sits where it's gonna be. His beard's uh, pretty curly, so when he gets out of the shower, your hair's probably quite a bit longer. Yeah. As it fully dries, it's gonna sit into place. So you don't wanna do any trimming while your beard is wet. Let it fully dry before you actually trim anything at all. So we're like almost to the end of the day here, beard's fully set. And uh, we're gonna get get some trimming going. You ready for this? I hope so. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, for the purpose of this trim, Pete's not looking to really take any length off of his beard. He's just again looking to take some weight out of here. So your beard hairs are gonna grow at different rates, and a lot of guys will get thicker here. And if you're not careful, the cheek hairs in the back here will quickly kind of puff out and really give you your your face kind of a kind of a puffy, chubby cheek look, if you will. So you really want to take the weight out of here keep the length through the chin and jawline and elongate that and that's gonna just give you a little bit better overall shape. So um, that's gonna be really the primary focus for this trim. So again, you wanna make sure product's in there, make sure you really have it combed or brushed out and it's time to trim this bad boy. Oh, he's nervous. I don't trust many people with this, with this beard of mine. All right, so you can see right here, this is basically the stuff we're gonna take out. Just some of these hairs that are sticking out back here. Tighten this back in, so essentially, the shape you're gonna end up is a little bit tighter there. It's kind of the end goal. Now, whenever you're trimming, I always advise to just take a little bit off and then come back to it. The last thing you want to do is try to take it all in one swing. So take a little bit off, step back, reset it, take a little bit more, kind of keep going back to it because you can always go back and take more off. You're definitely not putting it back on. Go to work on the other side here, get them kind of evened out, and then I'll reset and see what how much more needs to come off from there. And again, you're really... Just kind of hitting the sides, you're treating it like a hedge. You're kind of working from the outside and just getting the hairs that are kind of sticking out, bringing all the hairs into kind of one uniform shape. Now, whenever you're trimming your beard yourself, uh, definitely take your time. The last thing you want to do is be in a rush. I told Pete here I only have five minutes to give him a trim, so we got to kind of blast through this thing. So I'm just kidding, man. It's looking nice. That was a joke. <laughs> when it comes to shaping and defining the back line, really all I'm going to do here, because um, his beard is really big and he's going to keep a pretty natural look, we're just taking again some of the weight out of here. So on the sideburn, some of these hairs that are sticking back, really just taking these off, going to clean this up just a little bit, and some of these longer ones just kind of shape it. We're not going to give a super hard line or box it because um, he's going to let it grow for another couple months. So uh, again, going for more of a natural look, but we do want to bring some of these kind of scraggly rogue hairs uh, down a little bit. Just there's some a little bit more uniform to the, to the shape without uh, being too, too, I guess, clearly boxed or defined. Just a couple of the hairs on the backside. Look up for me a little bit. So here we're just going underneath and just some of these hairs sticking out just against some of the scragglers. We're going to go ahead and trim those so that they all kind of stop at the same basically level line. So you're drawing a line off the back of the sideburn here and then a second line here. Uh, depending on you know how full you're going to grow it, what angle, that can vary just on personal preference. 
But for him, again, we're going with just kind of a natural, just, just getting some of these kind of underlying hairs. And here I'm just, again, taking just some of these wild ones that are growing out the front there to bring it all kind of in a little bit. And we're just barely taking anything off, and we're literally taking one or two tiny little hairs off. Again, treating it like a hedge, just kind of working our way around the outsides. Getting all these little scragglers. Now again, we, we started off just taking a little bit off the sides here, and he really wants this to be tighter, so it's noticeably tighter on the back of the jawline through the cheek and into the length in the, in the actual, at the chin and through the, the kind of the end of the beard here. So started just taking a little bit off and we'll just keep kind of creeping it down. The last thing you want to do is take too much off, like I said. So we started just with a little bit and we're slowly working, taking little by little off. All right, so here, basically, the only weight we've really taken out is through the sideburn and through the back of the jawline in this area to just kind of bring this in so that you get more of a shape here and you're not sticking out as much. Um, we obviously took a little bit more out of this side, so we come back over here, even this out. So again, keeping this pretty natural, just cleaning up on the back side of the sideburn. Uh, took a tiny bit off of here just to kind of bring this in, but leaving this pretty natural there. All right, brothers, that pretty much wraps up the trim here on Pete. Again, we're just trying to take a little bit of the weight out, shape it a little bit, not knock off any of the length because you're going to continue to grow this thing out. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. How you feel, man? I'm feeling good. Sweet. If you guys need anything, we've got a lifetime warranty on everything that we do, money-back guarantee, free shipping, free returns. So if you need anything at all, hit us up at support at livebearded.com and let us know how we can help you. And as always, live bearded, brother.